This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning, my special friends. I'm glad you are joining me again today for our Good Morning Devotions. It's a great way to start every day from God's Word, learning about Him. Oh, but first let's say good morning to God. Ready? Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. We're going to open up our Bibles to the book of Joshua and learn what God has to say to us today. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, this is what God told Joshua, and he tells it to us too. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. One more time, I'm going to read that. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God told this to Joshua because Joshua was the leader of God's people, and Joshua was to lead God's people into the promised land that God was giving them. But they all needed to be strong and courageous because there were many obstacles ahead of them. And it was going to take years and years before they could occupy the whole land. And Joshua needed to remember all the time that God was with him. And he needed to remember to not be discouraged or afraid because God would always be by their side helping them. And it's important for us to remember that too. <laughs> Let's read from our Tiny Talks book and find out why little Lopez needed to learn that lesson. This story is called A Swing and a Miss. I will never hit the ball, said Lopez. Chipper had thrown him the softball ten times in a row and he had swung at it ten times and he had missed every time. He felt like crying, but decided not to, for he didn't want Chipper to know that he cried. But Lopez couldn't hide his long, sad face. Chipper suddenly threw the softball over his head and caught it. He threw it behind his back and caught it. He threw it with one hand and caught it with another. Then he pulled two more softballs out of his gym bag. He started juggling them. He had all three balls spinning through the air, and he caught them every time. <laughs> Lopez grinned. Chipper looked funny with his brown hair stuffed under his baseball cap. He stood on one leg, juggling three balls and making funny faces. Lopez laughed and asked, where did you learn to do that? Well, hey, said Chipper, letting the balls fall to the ground. It took me a long time. I had to practice. Hitting the ball takes a lot of practice too. The Bible says, don't be discouraged. Lopez picked up his bat and Chipper threw him another ball. Lopez missed again, but he didn't stop trying. <laughs> Are you trying to learn new things? Maybe you're trying to learn to tie your shoes or Maybe you're trying to learn how to play a musical instrument. Perhaps you're struggling with some math problems. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old or young we are, we never stop learning new things. Even grown-ups have to learn new things too. But we can always remember that our God cares deeply about every detail of our lives. And God can do anything. God wants to help us. So remember, when you're trying to learn something new, don't be discouraged. Ask God to help you, and he will. And 
keep on trying. <laughs> Let's pray. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God right now. You can repeat these words. Dear God, thank you for helping us learn things. Help us to work hard at whatever we do. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful day today. God bless you, my friends. <laughs> Goodbye for now.